Now, being an asset, it will. Now, that's it's not a very good asset because the when H plus comes out, the conjugate base that is formed does not do resonance. So, it's not a strong acid as the carboxylic acid is, but it's a weak acid. So, there will be some ionization of this acid. Now, this H plus is going to go to this aldehyde. And this aldehyde is going to form a bond. The oxygen of the aldehyde or the ketone, whatever we have taken, is going to form a bond with hydrogen and plus charge is going to appear on this oxygen. When the plus charge appears on this oxygen, then oxygen starts to pull more electron from carbon. So the plus charge polarity on the carbon increases and the double bond, C double bond O weakens. When the plus charge density increases considerably, then even a weak nucleophile like the one here can come and attack this C double bond O. Attack means give its electron to the carbon. When this happens, then the carbon breaks one of the bond it was previously made, making and the electron of this bond goes into the orbital of this oxygen. So this oxygen will be neutralized. This oxygen and this carbon will form a bond. Net charge here is zero, plus minus. After the reaction, net charge will also be zero. Fine. All right. So this is what we have. This is a neutral compound, but this is not a stable, very stable compound because of the hindrance of this whole bulky group that has to survive in between this R and this R dash. There's an electronic repulsion between this oxygen and this oxygen. And most importantly, importantly, the C double bond O has been broken. So we have to be keen and if C double bond O can be regenerated, that's the best thing that can happen. So let's see if we can regenerate C double bond O. Now C double bond O can be regenerated if this oxygen forms a bond with this carbon. And this oxygen will form a bond with this carbon if this carbon starts to become electron deficient. This carbon will start to form be electron deficient if it starts to break a bond. Now how can this carbon break a bond so that it starts to become electron deficient so that oxygen starts to give its electron to it so that C double bond O is regenerated. Now it can, one of the bond can be broken if possible, if possible. And the possibility here is if this R group migrates and starts to form a bond with this oxygen and this oxygen it starts to break its bond and give electron to this oxygen. If this bond starts to be involved in making bond with this oxygen, look, if this R is migrating with this oxygen, then the bond is being broken with this carbon and that's what we wanted. If the bond is being broken with this carbon, carbon starts to gain a partial positive charge. Fine. Then this oxygen will start to give its electron to this carbon. Fine. Then what will happen is, this oxygen will start to develop a plus charge. And the bond, electron of this bond will start to come into the orbital of this oxygen and this will go as H+. plus. This will go as H+, plus. carbon oxygen will form a bond. So C double bond O will be generated at this position. This R will come and form a bond with oxygen. And this will go away as O-. Fine. Fine. So when this whole thing, now all of this shift of electron from all the positions will happen concurrently. So it's a concerted step. Everything will be done in a single step. So when this thing is done, when this thing is done, what comes out is this R group is no more attached to carbon. First of all, C double bond O is regenerated. H plus comes out from here. This R dash is attached with carbon. Fine, we haven't broken this bond. This R is no more attached with carbon. This R is attached with this oxygen. And this oxygen is still attached with the carbon. 
So this oxygen is still attached with the carbon and this R is attached with this oxygen. Like this. And what comes out of here from this part is we are breaking this bond. So what comes out of here is a carboxylate ion. So this thing comes out like this carboxylate ion and from here we have a ester. Now the question is why did we migrate this R? Now there is there is no problem of orientation as was the problem in oxyme. If you remember in oxyme if OH was on right hand side then the orbital was on left hand side. So if R is on left hand side and R dash is on right hand side it's only R that can migrate because it's parallel. The reason was the C double bond N did not allow free rotation. So the rotation is restricted because there is a double bond here. There is no double bond here. Now there is a single bond. If you have two groups, if you have R and R dash like this and you have an orbital here. Now there is a rotation allowed. Suppose this blue marker, this is R and this black marker is R dash and the orbital is kept at this position. Fine? Like this. So from this blue marker, this is approximately parallel. So electronic transfer can occur from this bond to this bond. But there is a rotation allowed. So black marker after rotation will come to this position. And now from bond, this from this bond transfer of electron is also permissible. So there is no restriction as is the case in, in, in oxyme. So because there is a single bond, this will freely rotate. And after 180 degree rotation, R dash will occupy the position of R. And from here, the transfer can occur from R dash. So there is no restriction because of rotation. So there is no problem of any orientation. So whichever group has greater migratory aptitude, that group will migrate. So in this case, I have migrated R. So R oxygen has been inserted between carbon and R. Look, whichever group will migrate, that will do the bonding with oxygen. So oxygen will be inserted between that group and carbonyl group. In this case, I migrated R, so oxygen has been inserted between R and carbonyl group. Considering that R has greater migratory amplitude. But if R dash has greater migratory amplitude, then after rotation R dash will come here and R dash will migrate, not R. So whichever group has greater migratory amplitude, oxygen will be inserted between that group and carbonyl group. Fine. So this is how the reaction occurs. Let's do some practice on this reaction. <laughs>